this through when I plan on recording this outdoors. Welcome to a week in my life as an Angelino living in New York. Um, today is 7-Eleven. I wonder if 7-Eleven's here give free slushies like they do in LA. Actually, come to think of it, I only seen like one 7-Eleven since I've moved here so maybe maybe not um, anyways today is Monday and Mondays typically tend to be very mundane but today is gonna be really exciting because right now I'm going to go see the Manhattan Henge which if you guys don't know what that is the Manhattan Henge is basically like this thing that happens twice a year where when the sun sets it aligns with all the streets of New York and it pretty much lights up all the streets of New York as someone that is a home for skyscrapers and city skylines. I'm so freaking excited to see this. The sun is setting and I want to say it looks beautiful and it does but I feel like it could be better. So we are at we are at um where are we? Union Square. This is Union Square, and this is the Stonehenge! Stonehenge? Stonehenge? <laughs> Sorry, the Stonehenge. Manhattan Henge. <laughs> that's what it reminds me of. I think that's how the name is about. But why do you think it's called the Manhattan Henge? Well, my theory is that it's because when the sun shines on the buildings, it looks like the Stonehenge. But maybe I'm just... Maybe I'm crazy. <laughs> Man, it must be annoying to be a driver at this time. Look at all these people in the middle of the road. We're over the sunset and now we're going to get ice cream. My favorite thing. to Starbucks to get some coffee because Starbucks is 50% off drinks in July on Tuesdays only so yeah and I haven't had Starbucks since I moved here so I'm super excited I don't know why I'm excited for Starbucks I just am making my own coffee but there's just something about like other people making your coffee that just makes it taste like 20 times better all right so now that I've got my morning started I think today not I think I'm going I'm going to make today a productive day because yesterday was not so productive to say the least <laughs> so I should probably start getting to work I'm actually like 20 minutes late to work already, but shh, don't tell my boss. Um, today should be like a pretty chill, easy day for me. I don't have that many meetings. I mean, hopefully. So every day that I work, I always put on a timer for 25 minutes. I actually use the Pomodoro method, which is where like you use 25 minutes to work and then you rest five minutes and then another 25 and then so on in that cycle because um, because supposedly it helps you focus and like actually get more work done so you don't burn yourself out working like three hours straight which is what I typically do um, I always try to like power through things I notice that I get burnt out in the middle of the day so I've been using this Pomodoro method and I feel like it's really helpful I'm like forced to take breaks and it's really nice to take those like even if it's like five minutes it's nice to take those breaks so that is how I focus in work these days I said today was gonna be a chill day for work. 
but then I was like, maybe not because things just come up in the middle of the day. Well, things came up. I, I'm so tired. My eyes feel like, they feel so dead from staring at the screen. You guys can hear me over the wind and all the people walking by but i had planned for today to be a very i don't want to say boring day but like a very typical day um work gym dinner and then sleep and then work again tomorrow but then i heard about this pop-up this ice cream pop-up truck thing and it's such a cute concept it's called like eat the rich and basically they're like popsicles in the shape of like rich people like elon musk it happens to be at a park near my place so i was like fuck it i'll just make a little park trip out of it and um i got here and just as i got here it was like me and this like little boy approaching the van at the same time and the guy was like i only have one more popsicle so i let the little boy have it but it doesn't matter because tomorrow they're gonna have a pop-up at the park next to my workplace and i'm going to the office tomorrow so i'm just gonna get one tomorrow um so yeah i'm sad that i don't have ice cream to eat but i'm gonna take this time to chill and figure out my life this week and then also figure out the rest of my life for the rest of my life <laughs> um, but basically just do some journaling and some planning and chill because work was crazy today okay you guys I had to take a break from journaling and planning because <laughs> okay sorry I was distracted by a dog okay so anyways I had to take a break from journaling and planning because the pictures from the James Webb telescope came out today and look how beautiful I mean I don't know if you guys can see from just like this but look how beautiful this is like this is I have been waiting for these pictures since they announced the finish of this telescope and basically this is like a a telescope on steroids and I am just like so in awe by space it's just so crazy to see like pictures like this and to think that there are like a million other galaxies out there but anyways what is so crazy about this telescope basically like the the infrared lights that it can see can show us hello so when I woke up this morning my only goal was to make it to the gym today but it's 4 p.m. and I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty burnt out from like this entire week, so not sure if we're gonna make it today. It's kind of funny though because I feel like the gym, going to the gym, will make me feel better about my burnout, but like I'm too burnt out to go to the gym, so it's like a vicious cycle. And I know that I should go, but like, <sighs> you know, just sometimes you just can't make it. But it's okay, we're learning to be okay with that. Alright guys, so I think it's safe to say that I'm not going to make it to the gym today. Um, I just woke up from a three hour nap and now I'm eating dinner. But yeah, I think I'm just going to end the video here. Um, the rest of my week is going to be pretty boring, but I hope you guys enjoyed seeing some of the things that New York City offers. I feel like there's always something to do in the city, like you'll never get bored. And most of these things are like free, so that's pretty cool, it's like free entertainment. New York City is really not as expensive as people say it is or think it is at least it's not as expensive as i thought it was maybe i'll make a video on that but yeah until then i will see you guys in the next video bye